The hidden secrets of the Pokemon anime lost in localization and translation let us crack some of these juicy nuggets open. Hey everyone, it's Charles. How are you today? I'm in the countryside, and yes, I have trimmed down the Jafar beard a little bit, but not too much. Yeehaw. At a superficial level, the Pokemon anime is a show built on the themes of dreams, friendship, and the quest to better oneself. But under the surface, there's another layer of Japanese culture, symbolism, creator feelings, and personal stories that can take your enjoyment of the show to the next level, if you choose to dig a little bit deeper. The plan today is to zero in on one such layer. The secrets of the flowers tucked into key scenes of the Pokemon XY slash XY and Z anime, that is, the hidden Hanakotoba, the Japanese language of flowers that adds depth to characters from Serena to Karina to director Tetsuo Yajima himself. We are going to break down six exciting examples that will make you want to revisit each one of these episodes. But firstly, what exactly is Hanakotoba, flower language, in the Japanese context? Like the flower and plant symbolism that exist in many cultures around the world, the Japanese language of flowers, or Hanakotoba, refers to coding given to flowers and plants that conveys emotion and meaning without spoken or written words. And it is particularly significant in Japanese cultural arts, like flower arrangement and kimono patterning, wherein specific flowers or combination of flowers evoke a range of interpretations. Indeed, anime viewers familiar with Hanakotoba will notice that the appearances of specific flowers in various anime foreshadow big plot points grant deeper insights into characters' feelings or simply create a specific emotion in a given scene. The Pokemon anime is no different and Pokemon XY slash XY and Z director Tetsuo Yajima really does love to play with flower language in his works. We will save his hot gem The Power of Us for another day, but as promised here are six examples from the XY anime. I hope you enjoy them and do subscribe for more because there's a whole lot more to chat about down the pipeline. Early in the XY series, we see Serena's mother Grace framed between sweet pea flowers as she bids her daughter farewell. Serena had finally picked up the trail of the boy who rescued her years earlier at Professor Oak's summer camp in Kanto, village wild man Ash Ketchum, and set out on a journey to find him. This one is simple and sweet. The sweet peas are the perfect complement to the scene as their Hanakotoba ties them to the ideas of separation and departure. And while separation and departure may evoke feelings of sadness, they also bring forth positive images of someone departing towards something new. Whether that be a graduation ceremony, a new job, or in Serena's case, a new adventure upon which she would unlock the door to her dreams at long last. So on one hand, we see Grace letting go of Mama's girl, but at the same time, we see Mama's girl departing towards a bright future, a future full of plentiful husbando fantasies. As a side note, it's said that the farewell image connected to sweet peas initially emerged because the fluttering petals of the sweet pea resemble a butterfly in flight. I don't know about you, but my heart, it is melting. In Pokemon XY episode 14, our heroes and Team Rocket seek refuge from a storm in an apparently uninhabited mansion. Something that never ends well and they should probably stop doing it. But anyways, after a few scares in the mansion, Bonnie eventually befriends a wild Esper bearing a beautiful pendant. Apparently, an elderly woman named Lucy had taken care of Esper at the mansion and given it the pendant she had in turn received from her late husband. Esper later ventured off back into the wild and when it came back one day to return the pendant, Sadly, Lucy had already passed on. Unaware of Lucy's passing, Esper had stayed on at the mansion and waited for her old friend to return ever since. However, just as our heroes learn Esper's secret and promise to help it, the home's new owner turns up. Her name is Elise, and apparently she is Lucy's granddaughter. She tells Esper of her grandmother's passing and offers to drive her to the graveyard to bid an old friend farewell. And as the episode draws to a close, we see Esper holding a purple windflower in Elise's car. Different colors of windflowers carry different meanings, but the flower language attributed to purple windflowers is waiting and believing in you. Words that hit like a hippodon in the context of Esper's story. By episode 34 of the XY series, Karina had already acquired her Lucario Knight and the ability to Mega Evolve her Lucario. However, whenever Mega Lucario evolved, it would lose control, lashing out at both Pokemon and people like a Barracuda in a bar brawl. Karina and Lucario find themselves mired in frustration by one embarrassing Mega Evolution failure after the next. The comfort, trust, and happiness that had always defined the two friends' relationship began to slip away from them. Karina would eventually embark to Pomus Mountain to seek aid 
made from Mabel, an elderly, mature babe who could mega evolve her Mawile. However, when they battled, Mega Lucario almost immediately lost control and Mega Mawile stomped it out. A desperate Karina practically begged to continue training, but Mabel surprised everyone by ordering that the group work on flower arrangements with their Pokemon partners instead. Karina and Lucario quickly became frustrated with this ridiculous flower folly as it dragged on and on, but in time, in the midst of nature's beauty, they found release from the tension in their relationship. They came to genuinely enjoy working on their flower arrangement together, and with Lucario's help, Karina managed to procure some beautiful, white, lily of the valley flowers from a cliffside, tying them into a gorgeous bracelet. Later that night, Team Rocket attacked Mabel's treehouse, and Karina frantically mega evolved Lucario to defend the group, only for Lucario to shock everyone by turning on her again and biting into her arm. But at that moment, Lucario caught a whiff of Karina's Lily of the Valley bracelet, filling it with memories of their friendship, whereupon it finally got the mega evolution transformation under control and sent Team Rocket blasting off again. The Lily of the Valley flower symbolizes humility and a return to happiness, and certainly only through humility were Karina and Lucario able to overcome their flaws, return to happiness, and of course, master the mega evolution mechanic. In Pokemon XY episode 63, Jesse and Wobbuffet are separated from their teammates, they nearly drown, and they are rescued by Dr. White, a soft-spoken, kind Chad doctor from the countryside. Jesse falls for him faster than you can say, Jack Walker, and during their time together, her feelings for Doc W grow and grow and grow until she is on the verge of leaving Team Rocket to stay with him, only to discover that Dr. White is indeed in love with the hot local carpenter girl, because aren't we all? And with that, Jesse snaps out of her hot fantasy and rejoins James and Meowth. As Jessie leaves Dr. White aboard the Team Rocket balloon, we see her clinging bitterly to a handful of marguerites. Marguerites have various Hanakotoba related to love, including those of love kept close to the heart and of course, love fortune telling. A popular motif in Japanese girls comics, and a practice said to originate among French girls who use the flowers to tell their own romantic fortunes. Of course, instead of hopefully picking petals, Jessie throws the flowers to the wind, abandoning the fortunes of love that turned out to be little more than a hollow dream and putting her stock in her time-tested friends instead. After slapping Ash with a direct hit to the mouth box at the conclusion of the XY anime and embarking to Hoenn on a journey to develop herself, Serena arrives at her destination and as she steps outside at the airport, we see her surrounded in a flurry of fluttering cherry blossoms. The cherry blossom is an iconic flower in Japan. In fact, the cherry blossom is the country's national flower. And as you would expect, it is laden with symbolism. For instance, spiritual beauty, graceful femininity, and purity. Certainly, these attributes are all a part of Serena's character. Furthermore, cherry blossoms represent new chapters in time and life for the Japanese people, and in particular, a sense of new beginnings. This is not only because cherry blossoms bloom in spring, but because they bloom specifically from late March through early April, with both the Japanese school year and fiscal year ending in March and beginning in April. Accordingly, cherry blossoms evoke the feeling that it is time for new dreams to unfold and new endeavors to begin, a metaphor that would hit particularly hard among the young viewership of the show in Japan. And seeing as the Kalos region is based on France, we should also note an important meaning of cherry blossoms in French culture. Don't forget me. This meaning stems from the transient appearance of falling cherry blossoms and the sadness of lovers going separate ways, an appropriate theme for the conclusion of the XY story from Serena's perspective. Looking at Serena through the cherry blossom lens, we see a woman of grace, purity, and spiritual beauty who does not want to be forgotten by Ash as she embarks towards her new beginning. And we certainly did see her return in full bloom in Pokemon Journeys as a mature young woman sparkling with dreams and making a name for herself. In an interview with Animage, XY series director Tetsuo Yajima teased that the secret episode would be hidden in the final episode of the series, and viewers were quick to zero in on the message when the episode aired. When Ash returns to Pallet Town in the final episode of the Pokemon XY slash XYNZ anime, we see a swath of Kasumiso, commonly known as Baby's Breath in English, outside the front door of his home. And although Baby's Breath has very specific romantic connotations, in an interview put out on the release day of the final episode, Animedia 
editor-in-chief Yuichiro Oguro inquired about the Easter egg, and Mr. Yajima clarified the meaning of the secret in the flowers. In an Animage article, it was said that there is a message from you contained in the final episode, but what kind of message is it? I made a swath of baby's breath blossom in front of Ash's house. Baby's breath means gratitude, and this indicates my gratitude towards the viewers of the show. How sweet. And while I don't have any baby's breath on hand at the moment, I do have a bundle of thanks for Mr. Yajima and his team for creating such a memorable chapter in the Pokemon anime. And while I love his movies, I do hope we see him in the director's role on the main series again at some point in the future. But how about you? Have you noticed any other secrets in the flowers of the Pokemon anime? And with that said, if you're looking to skill up in Japanese flower arrangement, manga drawing, or basically whatever else you could possibly want to skill up in, then this offer from today's sponsor is for you. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes for creators that is dedicated to helping you improve your skills while deepening existing passions and getting lost in creativity. And better yet, the first 1,000 people to use the link in the description or my code CHARUSHARU will get a one-month free trial of Skillshare Premium. That's right, an opportunity to explore the entire Skillshare class library for free for an entire month. Personally, I first started using Skillshare in 2020 to beef up my storytelling and art abilities and the skills I've acquired have really helped my side hustles take off. And if you're looking to start your own side project, then I recommend checking out Starting a Successful Side Hustle by Ali Abdal, who explains how to start, continue, and finish your side projects, all while providing valuable techniques to drive your project forward and have fun while you're at it. Of course, there are thousands of other awesome classes to level up with on Skillshare, and the value for money is awesome. So be sure to click the link in the description or use my code to claim your free trial of Skillshare Premium. Thanks again to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. And with that said, have yourself a good one. And as always, let's chat.